to make a comparison between the chromatic button accordion and the piano accordion. I play the piano accordion as my instrument of choice because uh, that's how I started with and that was the most popular layout that was uh, available where I live. But in uh, Eastern Europe and the rest of Europe, the chromatic accordion, the chromatic button accordion is massively popular and it is popular for a reason. Th this layout, it actually packs a wide range of notes in two dimensions as opposed to like the linear layout in a piano accordion. So you can actually reach a wider range of notes easily. So if you actually look at this, I am reaching from C to the next C to an octave above it, and then the E flat, F sharp, and A. And I don't have another C over here, but it's even possible to reach that far, which is uh, impossible to do on a piano accordion. And also, uh, the layout of the buttons are like more symmetric than uh, the piano accordion. So, so th this way, uh, all the notes that are present in the bottom row, if you learn to play a scale in C major, for example, yeah, pardon the mistakes because I, I don't really play a chromatic button accordion. Uh, I do play like chromatic free bass on the left hand, which is the exact same layout on the left hand. So I'm just uh, trying to visualize that based on that. So uh, my technique uh, might not be really good with this. So if I play like C major, I could play the exact same thing in E flat. Yeah, that was some messed up fingering, but uh, I, uh, the, the point is that if you learn like C major, the exact same thing can be applied for like C, E flat, F sharp, and A. And so you've learned like four scales at the same time. And if, if you have like a five uh, row uh, button, accordion, chromatic button accordion, that's all you gotta do for like all 12 of the scales. And because you will have like two rows above each of the row. Uh, each of the notes that you're willing to play. So you don't have to like learn 12 different patterns. But I just wanted to give you a small example of a drill that I learned to play yesterday on my piano accordion. And that was the diminished interval drill and the diminished seventh chord and all of its inversions. And that is particularly easier to do on the chromatic button accordion because so this is your diminished uh, interval so when you grow go like up and down this row all you get is a diminished interval so a diminished seventh chord is just a stacked interval of diminished uh, minor thirds so you you can just play inversions as easy as this. 
So it's so simple compared to all of the contortions that you have to go through in uh, the piano accordion. So unfortunately, when I got this uh, button accordion, uh, I did not get this with the diminished chord button. It, it only has like the seventh. And I think this is a French style uh, button on the, on the Stradilla bass system. It, it, it's like almost the same but it has like some changes the voicings that they use for the seventh chord is a little different and i think you can still play the diminished chord with this but i don't know how to do it you use like a different combination but uh so i won't be able to play the bass pattern that i played on the piano keyboard so where yeah. i have to be playing the diminished chord and then go to like yeah. f sharp so i'm just gonna play the bass solos yeah. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So let's see how this drill goes. I'm going to try to take this a little slower first. So uh, this is the first time I'm trying to play this and uh, right off the bat, I can see that it's so much easier and uh, mistakes are lower and I don't have to like think about changing uh, like shapes with my finger and it, it, it's like so much easier. I'm, I'm just going to try to go faster just for the fun of it. It's, it, it, it's like uh, so much easier to like visualize this, but, but this doesn't paint the entire picture because not everything is the minor third interval playing diminished seventh chords, right? This is like uh, one of the examples where uh, it, the difference in difficulty is like uh, night and day between the piano accordion and the uh, chromatic button accordion also known as the CBA and this is available in like two popular layouts the B system and the C system this is the C system and uh, the B system is the mirror image of that and I, I don't uh, I, I don't have any experience playing that this one I like played with it for maybe a total of about five hours and uh, so why would anybody want to play the piano accordion so that is an interesting question, right? So the, the chromatic button accordion packs like so many notes in just a small keyboard. Since uh, this has this two dimensional grid layout, it makes the instrument much more compact. But although when you, when you go for like a professional sized instrument, you still gotta put all the reeds in there and uh, that, that's gonna make the instrument like thicker projecting out or deeper. So uh, the keyboard doesn't really help uh, you with that part of the dimensions, but the length of the keyboard itself is like so much smaller on a chromatic button accordion and uh, a full sized chromatic button accordion will have a lot more range in the notes compared to a piano style keyboard. So uh, with, with all these advantages, I am still sticking with my uh, piano accordion and uh, but 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 I, I don't suggest this as a solution for like everybody this is something that I chose to do for the following reasons number one I happened to start with a piano accordion and that was because uh, when I wanted to buy an instrument I had to find a teacher and also a uh, cheap 
affordable instrument that I can start with. And the piano accordion was the better choice for that when I started lessons because uh, there were a lot of used uh, inexpensive piano accordions available in the market. And also where I live in the United States, uh, most of the teachers play piano accordion. So that was the second factor. And the third factor is that uh, if you learn to play the piano accordion, the right hand technique is exactly the same as like uh, other keyboard instruments like the piano, organ, or a synthesizer. And uh, that that is a standard, right? So whatever I play, I can play on my piano with some made up left hand that I do on the piano. I don't really have a left hand piano technique. I just play block cards as a rhythm. So whatever I learned, I can still play it uh, in a piano or a, uh, a synthesizer and uh, that, that works out, but that's not a huge benefit, right? Like uh, I cannot uh, perform a song uh, the same way on an accordion uh, and the piano. Like I haven't really spent any time practicing the piano. So uh, it's something that I mess with, but it, it's like a small advantage. But if you are somebody who has like a uh, background in piano and you, you're already a trained pianist, then you could port a lot of that uh, into the accordion. Although the technique is a little bit different, you don't really like uh, hammer the notes to get the dynamics, the dynamics lives in the bellows, but you could port a lot of those techniques, like all the scales you've learned uh, into the piano accordion. But if you are doing a button accordion, you have to learn all of them uh, from scratch. And the next reason is the amount of time and money that I've invested in all of my piano accordions. And uh, I've built up a, a, a repertoire that I can perform for uh, about two and a half to three hours. And it's not like I can take all of those songs and just play it on the, uh, on the chromatic button accordion just like that. Uh, although the chromatic button accordion has its advantages and uh, has a faster learning curve, uh, it, a piano accordion player cannot just pick up a button accordion and play all of the songs that they already learned to play on the piano accordion. So that's like uh, uh, several hours of... Uh, uh, effort that I spent on learning those songs and I'm a little too lazy to take that step back and relearn all of that on the button accordion. And uh, related to that point, the learning curve on the button accordion might be faster, but the initial learning curve, uh, like the easiest songs that you learn to play and the scales uh, are going to be easier on the piano accordion. Like, uh, for example, if you're playing the key of C major or A minor, you're gonna be playing all the white keys without playing any of the accidental, the, the black keys. And uh, those might be easier to play on the piano accordion. And uh, e even like something like the C major scale. <laughs> so you see that this, this fingering is not trivial. Uh, it, it, it's got like its advantage and disadvantage, right? Learning that C major scale is actually harder on the chromatic button accordion compared to the piano accordion. But when you learn the C major scale, you've learned like four of the other scales, which are like E flat, F sharp, A. And then uh, that makes it uh, like four times the learning, right? So you invest more time to learn a scale, but by learning that one scale, you have eliminated the need to learn other scales. And I'm only mentioning four because I uh, not all chromatic button accordions have like the fourth row or the fifth row. So if you have like a three row chromatic button accordion, you have to learn uh, three different ways to play each scale. And then you're set uh, as opposed to like 12 different scales. 
But if you have like a five row chromatic button accordion, uh, you can just learn one scale, like the C major, and you'll be done with like all 12 of them, like C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, and uh, you're, you're done with all of them. So uh, that is a very uh, attractive proposition, but to port whatever I've learned already on the piano accordion onto the button accordion, I don't, I don't know how long it's gonna take, right? Because I haven't really done it, but uh, it, it might take me like a year or two uh to step back and do this so the uh at that time i i think i'll be better off learning uh newer stuff on my piano accordion rather than doing this so i i did consider that option of uh taking a plunge into the button accordion but uh, ultimately i decided not to do it is that the absolute best decision there's no way for me to know because i never did this but uh i've been assured that that will be a great thing to do if i abandon my piano accordion and jump into the chromatic button accordion uh like so many people who have already done that uh have told me that they did not regret their decision and and, and they were able to actually accelerate their learning by doing this, but I'm just a little hesitant taking that step back. Uh, and uh, I think it's just got to do with my mindset. And uh, so if I were a beginner and if I did not have a background in piano, which I did not when I started playing uh, the accordion, the accordion was my first serious attempt at any musical instrument. and. Uh, I, I've played some guitar before, but I don't really consider that as a serious investment of my time. But uh, the, uh, like who doesn't, right? Like everybody plays guitar. And uh, if, if I had the option of learning the chromatic button accordion right when I started my lessons, and if I knew what I know right now, then probably I would have chosen the CBA route and uh, that would have really uh, helped me out. That, that, that's what I think would have happened. But right now I've invested like about seven years learning the piano accordion. I don't wanna go back. Uh, I, I know people who have been playing piano accordion for like 30, 40, or like even, even longer time. And uh, they did the switch and they, uh, uh, they, they are like very happy with the switch that they did but I'm just reluctant uh, doing that. So uh, hopefully this provided you uh, some context if you are a beginner uh, and if you have the option to learn both. So if you have a teacher and you also have access to an instrument, feel free to go the uh, chromatic button accordion route. And uh, that, that that is what uh, people are doing in countries where they take accordion more seriously uh, than the United States, uh, you, you see like competitions and you see like a majority of the players are actually playing chromatic button accordions and uh, doing the same things on a piano accordion are actually harder uh, because uh, with more players playing this, uh, more music is written for a chromatic button accordion and uh, that is also something that makes it harder to do things in piano accordion. You, 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 you might see somebody play something amazing on a button accordion and you, you might wanna learn that on a piano accordion and then it's like, sometimes it's insanely hard and sometimes it's not even possible. They'll be doing like these big stretches and you won't be able to reach those notes and you'll have to like make uh, changes to the uh, make changes to the arrangement to simplify it or modify it in a different way uh, to harmonize it uh, in a way that you can play that on a piano accordion. So I hope you found this uh, video useful and uh, if you are on the crossroads uh, trying to decide trying to decide between a button accordion and a piano accordion, do let me know in the comments what you uh, think 
you, you're going to be picking up. Or if you're somebody that already made the switch, do let me know uh, how your progress is going. See you then until the next video.